Good afternoon, everyone. Let's give a warm and wonderful Southwest Florida welcome to Governor Sarah Palin. We are extraordinarily blessed to have her here with us. She is an inspiration to so many of us, all of us that are here, and I feel just incredibly blessed to have her on my team as an advocate for us and conservative values and to help us in the home stretch bring home a big, giant win for Southwest Florida. Thank you so much. I'm honored to get to be here. And I, it, minus the palm trees and the sand, I, I, I walk into the cabin, I'm like, I feel like I'm home. <laughs> I didn't see caribou and moose heads on the, on the walls. But um, no, it's so wonderful to get to be here. And having heard Lizbeth's story, knowing that she's running for the right reasons for you all in 19, but for the entire country, knowing her story and her commitment to good conservative values, just common sense that she wants to apply to the challenges that our nation faces. You know, simple things like, hey, government, live within your means. Like, we all have to do with our, our family budgets, with our, the businesses that we run. Government, you too, live within your means. And she understands that. She has the experience. She has the character. She has that background that will be put to good use for you all, but again, for, for the entire nation. Now, 19 has 19 days to go, right? 19 days. all about you it is up to you and what you need to do is just so commit yourself in the next 19 days to get your friends your family your co-workers get everybody out there enthused working hard in the next couple of weeks get people to show up at the polls and vote because what we need to do is oust the status quo in the ballot box the status quo has got to go or our country will be fundamentally transformed, as has been promised, instead of fundamentally restored to the exceptional nation that we all know and love. Who can help us get there? All, all of America will be so appreciative of your efforts, but especially your efforts for getting her there for the rest of us. So just work hard, please. We need her there. And uh, really, it's it's an honor to get to be. It's an honor and a privilege to get to be here. A pleasure to thaw out. <laughs> I don't want to leave. This is heavenly. Todd and the kids, they're missing it, man. This is, this is nice. Uh, such a beautiful part of the country. You know, God's country here. It's just, you are so blessed with natural resources and with, you know, this workforce and technology, all that is here in Florida. So much going for you all. And uh, not that there's been much controversy in this area in the news uh, politically, but you guys are in the news a lot, you know. <laughs> well, it's time to get some stability, okay? It's time to get a good character in there. Someone who that we can respect and that we know will do well for the future of our country. She is a mama grizzly. She's one of those who will stand up to protect the next generation. That's what we need in Congress. So thank you for running. Thank you and your family for putting yourselves out there. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy. But you know, too, to you know, put it in God's hands and he'll protect you. And you all, too, you believers, know that it's that prayer shield. It's that intercession that she's going to need, her family's going to need to allow her to progress for this nation, for all of you. Thank you so much for letting me be here, and I can't wait to get to serve you some food and barbecue <laughs> and get to shake your hands. Thank you so much for letting me be here. Vice Mayor Gary Price uh, is a wonderful friend. He's going to say a word of grace this evening before we, we have our barbecue together. Thank you. Please bow. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and your grace. We pray that you'll be with us and keep us close to you and that we're clear to see your will in everything that we do. We're so grateful for the visit of Governor Palin. We're so grateful for the leadership of Elizabeth. And we just pray that you will arm them and protect them with your love and that we can help in any way to support your will in their efforts and their leadership. 
And in God's holy name, we say amen. amen. And now let's get in line and get some bread. <laughs>
$500 a plate. However, Minnequisto is taking heat from the three other Republican candidates in this race who say she is not spending enough time at public forums meeting and greeting voters. Governor Palin is also being criticized tonight by members of the Tea Party for her choice. We have a great team of volunteers. We walk every weekend. The phone banks that we do are strong. And we're just going to run the race that we want to raise, uh, run and, and put our trust in the voters. Exclusive interview just moments ago. It feels great to get to be here, to support Liz Beth and to support uh, this, this area, 19, with 19 days to go, to be able to oust the status quo and usher in um, some good, positive uh, uh, answers to the challenges America is facing. We're going to get that out of Liz Beth.